G'day, I'm Shuey from Smoked Barbecue Sauce and today I'm going to be smoking a bone-in leg of lamb. So, let's get into it. I find when smoking a large cut of lamb, be it shoulder or leg, they both actually work well. The leg being a leaner cut though, doesn't need to be taken as far as the shoulder that's full of all that connective tissue and all that intramuscular fat. I'm aiming for a roast style finished product. If I was going for pulled, I would more than likely select a shoulder. Now to prep this Australian 6.4 pound leg of lamb, I'll just remove any large pieces of fat and any silver skin to expose as much meat as possible to apply our seasoning to. Lamb blends really well with savoury herb flavours and I find lemon and rosemary work really well. So today we are going with my tried and tested combo of three parts of salt flakes, two parts of lemon pepper, one part of dried rosemary, one part of dried oregano, one part of garlic granules, and one part of onion flakes. Mix this up real good to make sure every time you grab some seasoning, you are getting a bit of everything to ensure an even coating. Or transfer the seasoning to a shaker, just remember to give it a good shake before each use. Just to help the seasoning stick to the lamb, I like to brush on a light coating of oil first, then giving the whole leg a good covering of the seasoning. Do not be shy, get it on there. I'll be setting up the Weber Smoky Mountain to smoke at 250 degrees Fahrenheit using the Minion method. Now how I set the WSM up is by half filling a chimney starter with lump charcoal and lighting it up. Once that's all ashed over, I'll dump that into the well we created in the unlit charcoal. I'll also pop in a few chunks of smoking wood. I'll be using cherry for today's smoke. I'm not using the water bowl for this cook. I have a deflector plate in, so as the lamb fat melts and drips down hitting the charcoal, it creates an extra nice smoky flavor that works so well with the lamb. Now put the lid on, open all the vents and allow the WSM to heat up before we start closing down the vents and stabilizing the heat. Now that our smoker is stable and ready, we can put the leg of lamb on. Just place it in the center of the cooking grill and insert an internal temp thermometer and set that to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the lid back on, grab a drink. This is gonna take around four hours. Since I'm smoking this leg of lamb like a roast, I'm gonna pair it with some veggies. Now, I love nothing better than steamed vegetables with a roast. But what I also love is roasted potatoes. And unfortunately, the smoker's not running hot enough to create that today. So, into the oven today to get some roasted potatoes. I'll be making some herb and butter Hasselback potatoes to start with. Go and preheat an oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and go and wash and dry the potatoes. Now, cut slits into the potatoes about an eighth to a quarter of an inch apart. And to help you not cut right through, use chopping sticks as a guide. Place the potatoes in a baking dish and brush with butter. Now season with salt and pepper and then put into the oven on the middle rack for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the layers should start to spread apart. So give them another brushing with butter, making sure to get the butter right into each slit. And then back in the oven for another 30 minutes. You'll know when they're done, the edges will be crispy and the middle will be soft when sticking a skewer in to test. When they are done, sprinkle with some freshly cut chives and serve immediately. Did you know by steaming your vegetables, you're retaining all the nutrients that they have in them? 
Not only that, by steaming, it actually makes the colours pop. And they do say we eat with our eyes first. Carrots would have to be one of my favourite vegetables to cook and eat. And by adding a few extra flavours, you can make them into the hero of any meal. Start by boiling water in the bottom of a steamer, adding a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice, then peeling the carrots and top and tailing them, now cutting them into roughly the same size lengths, about one and a half to two inches long. Then trim them into even slices lengthways, steam the carrots for 10 minutes, then drain the excess water off them. Place them into a bowl Add honey and butter and toss. Then season with salt and pepper and serve. Okay, peas. I'm not a big fan of the standard garden variety, but I do love snow peas. I know, it's a bit weird. These are super easy to cook and we can utilize the steamer that's already cooking our carrots. We just need to prep the snow peas. So by removing the stems and the spines from each snow pea, then place them into a steamer basket and steam for four minutes. Drain the water, place in a bowl and add butter, chopped mint, salt and pepper and toss, and then serve immediately. There's plenty of ways to make gravy and I believe that roast dinners need it. I'd normally use the drippings from a roast to start the process of making the gravy. But because we want those drippings to drop down on that charcoal to give us that real nice smoky element, we'll just use some stock to get our gravy today. We'll start off by peeling and thinly slicing two medium sized onions, then into a fry pan over medium heat and, and cook them until they're softened. Then add stock and wine and bring to a simmer. This is going to allow the alcohol to burn off. Once at a simmer, lower the heat and allow to reduce by about a third. Now, melt butter in a separate pan and add some flour, whisking constantly until you get a nice nutty color. Add the flour and butter mixture to the gravy, season with salt and pepper if needed, and then strain and serve. The leg of lamb is finally finished. And our veggies are nearly cooked. So we just need to get the leg of lamb off the heat and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. This is a good time to get the veggies finished and we can start eating. How good does that look? Smoked leg of lamb, heaps of veggies, and homemade gravy to finish it off with. The only thing left now is to give it a taste test. I find it's best to thinly slice lamb. Look at the color. I must say I've always been a fan of getting the outer parts with that bark, so that's what I'm trying today. Seriously, it just doesn't get any better than this. Well, there you have it. Smoked leg of lamb with veggies and homemade gravy. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website, which has got a full list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions. Thanks for watching. It's now time for me to sit down with the family and enjoy a good home cooked meal. Cheers. I find when smoking a large cut of lamb, be it shoulder or leg, I'm aiming for a roast styled, oh, now I don't know why I was, the Weber Smoky Mountain to be, Oh, I'm going to kill that bird. I think this bird's going to get cooked today. Ah, oh, God, that bird's made me look, forget what I'm saying. Uh, steamer that's already cooking it. Oh, that bird.